Yeah. Industry Ready Production. PSBeats.com. Each one, teach one infrastructure. Eric Protein Mosley. Erica Mosley, providing solutions for the coronavirus and the homeless. What you know about poverty with nothing to eat? And everybody living on the streets. What you know about living in cars with the same clothes? And you feel like a life is on repeat. Let's talk about the homeless problem in society. And our society straight lie to me. And why my people's got to struggle, man. My coronavirus spread a rapidly. Man, it's a tragedy and it's sad to see. Walk about with people sleeping on the streets. If I had a million dollars, I would try to pull my people out the struggle. Show the homeless how to hustle. Bounce back, make it double. If you know somebody homeless, all you gotta do is just reach out and help them. Show them that life is a blessing. Pull them up cause they be stressing. Sit them down, get them a lesson. Cause they feel like there's no one to help them. Yeah, a hundred dollars go a long way, but only takes one to see the smiling faces. Man, a hundred dollars go a long way, but only takes one to see the smiling faces. Haters gon' hate, family turn fake, you must keep the fake living day for day. Haters gon' hate, family turn fake, you must keep the fake living day for day. with my father we just started our each one teach one pilot program we are working on four outreach challenges and the first one i'm going to give you will be the outreach coronavirus you know everyone needs to know how to stay safe so hey dad oh this is great how are you hey, how are you <laughs> how are you thank you so much for um coming um, all the way from LA. Hi, I'm Eric Protein Mosley, and let's get started. Yes, so the first challenge is the coronavirus, the COVID 19. We're going to educate the homeless individuals on how to wash your hands, cover your mouth, stay home if sick, um, also get a flu shot. So, we're going to be educating um, homeless individuals on that. Next is I'm doing the project for the census. Each homeless individual is counted. Third, we're going to make sure that you have your resources. Get a put bag along with the great items inside, such as hand sanitizers, you know, soap, as well as with the simply the basic tools. And the last but least, two people will get a chapter in the homeless hustle book. I don't know who those two people will be, but stay tuned for that. Watch out for me and my father. Each one, teach one, and outreach team. Get ready for Explore. Dad, tell me a little bit about the Each One, Teach One infrastructure. The Each One, Teach One infrastructure, our mission is to partnership with organizations to be able to give an upper-class homeless individual a job with a tech company or any other type of organization. That will allow the middle and the lower class homeless to want to follow their footsteps. Meet me at the Tenderloin. Do you have a cigarette? Go ahead, get out of here. Do you have a cigarette, sign? I no, don't. No, I, I don't. But here is a uh, Corona here, huh? For the coronavirus, make sure you protect yourself and you are counted, okay? I want to make sure you do that and give you um, some stuff for this here, okay? Virus? Uh, for the coronavirus. Did you know about the coronavirus? No. You don't know about the coronavirus? Sure, I'll take some time. You need to know about the coronavirus. Make sure Read you protect that. yourself. Okay? Make sure you check yourself with the coronavirus. And you need to know. Okay? Here's the information, okay? Simple. This is a for, yeah, for the coronavirus. Did you know about the coronavirus? Yeah, I know it's an attack the food but Protect yourself, okay? And here is some effort. Um, basic Thank you, Miss. And the book bags. Yeah. Uh, what would it? Go across the street, use a water fountain, brush my teeth. So how are you washing your hands out here? Uh, I wash my hands in the, the fountain after I use the restroom. The fountain that people are drinking out of? No, it's okay if you're it's doing okay. it because we just want to get help for people to be able to... No, uh, there's a restroom. Oh, the restroom. There's a fountain in it with a mirror in front of it. Yeah. So, but you, you got that paper right there. So read about the coronavirus and yeah. spread that. Tell other people, okay? And look at the second paper, too. Yeah. Make sure you go online, or you can text, or you can mail that in. Yeah.
Yeah. about the coronavirus yes, make sure you protect yourself um wash your hands anytime that you you could okay cover your mouth and get a flu shot possibly also you are a count sweetheart that's nice yeah this vibe was created by me what this guy was saying is that the United States government was trying to quarantine everyone and stop production. Well, so, this is messing with people's lives. Bro. Right. You know, the income, the family, making it a whole lot harder. You know, it's like having a bubonic plague. Everybody's up in a frenzy and right. one the other. They say it's just like the flu is something, but people are dying right. from it. So how about the homeless? The, well, home, the homeless it, it, itself as me, yeah. one day at a time. To sit back and study and do some research and not just rely on fake news. Get back and study for myself and see what it really is because it's something that was created. Keep pushing the information. And the resources. Mm. See, all you can do is one thing, your part. So you have to do the census and make sure that you count. Matter of fact, come over here. Mm -hmm. Someone's going to listen. I need yeah, and now we have our program called the East One Teach One Infrastructure. So my daughter was trying to explain to this gentleman that through the each one teach one infrastructure that we were out on the streets because we cared. All in one. And he continued by saying everyone needs love. So I asked him the question, did he think that we were out here doing a good job? And his answer was yes. And he said more people should be helping more people. The world is getting real cold, cold hearted. Yeah. So, but, but, so how can you help your, how can I help you? So what I'm doing right here so, is the hey, East One T's One yeah, Outreach yeah, Infrastructure. Can can what can you say to the to the city to be able to help okay. us right now? Right now I'm helping you with the coronavirus and teaching you about the census. Do you know about that? If you don't do this, if you don't know about the census, no address and you still count, right? So if you don't go online, huh? Yeah, but you, 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 it don't matter if you're homeless. No address should still count. They need to make sure that you are counted so that way we can get the proper resources. Do you remember you were just saying about... Well, we still need to count. We, still we were homeless count. for 20 years, me and her. I raised her by myself on drugs. So, yeah, so we not we don't look down on nobody or nothing. I was homeless out here on the street. But to, no, that's my daughter. He wish. He, he wish. That's my daughter. I raised you. He wish. He, he wish he was that young. I'm talking about her brother and sister. Your, your father is your father. Uh -huh. And you're the daughter? Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. And look, we were homeless for 20 years, bro. I had a 20 time, year man. crack yeah. cocaine addiction, bro. And I was out here, so I don't look down on nobody. You know what I'm saying? Okay, look, so we're from the East One Teach One Infrastructure, right? So what it's saying is washing hands is the first thing, cover your car, uh, stay home if you're sick. But if, you, if you're homeless, you don't have a home, right? Okay, y'all, they either get the flu shot. So you never heard about the coronavirus? No. So have you, do you know any no. other? Wow, so that's kind of deep. So here, I'm gonna leave you with this, right? And what, what they're doing, they're taking a, um, a sister. So I'm gonna give you this, okay? Look, I got a little hoodie for you. We got some little socks and stuff in here. Uh, some socks, some soap and stuff like that, man. I want, I want you to understand more about the coronavirus, right? The coronavirus is this disease that they say that they have out here, right? And they say that it's coming from China and it came from a, a bad. So we all kind of like freaking out. And here's some sanitizer, right? They say that you're supposed to protect your hands, cover your mouth, and stay in at home. I know. Are you homeless? Let me ask. Okay, so they say you're supposed to stay home. You know, I don't know. Um, 
how that would affect you. So that's what we're trying to get resources to figure out how we can be able to help with the community, right? And with the census, this is how we can be able to help with the community. If you vote and go ahead and go online or to the uh, text message, you will be counted for, okay? So I just want you to just know about what's going on because um, there's not a lot of television out here. Um, which one you like? All the tough ones. Okay. Yeah. And they got more stuff in there. Cool. Okay, and um, we, again, we're with the East 1 East 1 infrastructure, me and my father, and we want you to know about the coronavirus. We letting you know about the Simply Basics, as well as the census, okay? Yeah. Put your socks, you got the food in there, you got all that stuff, we love hey, you. This is the wrong type of area for a person to really take a survey of people being home, because this is a, you have to understand, this area is a central one. You know what this place, place is really for? Do you know, tell me what it's for. No, you tell me, I don't know. It's, it's, it's designated for mentally and physically impaired people. Okay. The federal government put these people here. This is where they house a lot of people. What do you see around crazy people? I mean, I ain't gonna say crazy, but mentally and physically impaired people. Did you know that a lot of people did not know about the coronavirus? Yes, I know that. I know the that. The homeless people don't... Uh, like, they know and they don't know. They know yeah. of it. They yeah. heard of it. But right. they I mean, it's, it's like this. They don't really... I mean, let me tell you something. Let me be honest. The coronavirus is just like AIDS. When a person's on drugs, I don't give a damn about that. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. I'm just telling you the truth. I'm, I'm, I, I yeah. keep hand wipes in my pocket. Yeah. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. I've just done drugs. Yeah. Me too. So and, I'm and when, you know, I don't, I don't care so, about so it. So when you don't care about it, you're not protecting yourself. You're not yeah, doing none of that kind of stuff. So you can't. Right here, yeah, they don't give a damn. Yeah, right, so right, you right, think right. what we doing is like kind of informing people? You think that I mean, might it's, 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 it's getting real. It's real. It's real awakening a person's mind, but it's up to them. Y'all you know, leave. It's not like that. For me, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll just tell y'all, I ain't, I ain't trying to hear. So we with the East One Father, Eric Mosley, and do you know about the coronavirus? Yes. Sir. Would you, know would you say about it? I, I, me personally, I think it's a bad man disease. See ya. We want to make sure that everyone is counted out here yeah. and make sure everyone knows yeah. about the, the uh, yeah. coronavirus. Do you know about the coronavirus? Yeah. Okay, good. So, um, also, do you know about the census that we all need to be counted for? I'm just getting yeah. the bag. I ain't getting okay. the bag. It's my book. I've been you, homeless for 20. This? Yeah. So, I've been homeless. How old are you? <laughs> 31. Okay. So, I've been homeless. You have been homeless. Yeah, I've been homeless for 20 years of my life, and that's my autobiography. And this is my father here. He's been homeless all over the world. Right. Well, all over the United States, actually. Y'all been there all the time? Every yeah. State, every state. 40 not, different not states. Not this. I was homeless. Now I'm self-sufficient, and now I'm coming back to help with the homeless with our East one one infrastructure. Right. So that's why I'm asking you all these questions, so that way I can be able to help you and the city know how to help. The coronavirus is the COVID-19 is a virus that they say have around here. Make sure you wash your hands and protect yourself and know about your facts. That's what we're doing. Also, make sure that you do the census, too. Outreach here. All right, you too, baby girl. Good night. You protecting yourself they say pre hands, prepare and they say stay so at home is, well i ain't gonna stay at home <laughs> why not i'm not sick right okay and what about the people that are homeless that it says stay at home what they supposed to do i mean basically y'all is is a is a, is a is a give and take of situation i mean yeah. you got to be careful what you do and that's, yeah. that's what i say i mean i, I ain't gonna cover up somewhere right, or right, hide right. somewhere because of disease. Like, <laughs> I mean, you know. But yeah, everybody right. can't hide and cover up. No, no. And be honest with you, a lot, in, in warm environments, that's where it really, uh, really is active. So yeah, I would yeah, say yeah. you basically wash your hands. Yeah. You know, and, and I ain't gonna, I'm not going to tell anybody to get no flu shot. I don't, right, right. <laughs> I, I, I don't, I don't do that. And then for the homeless, just to. I'm not, I'm, but for homeless, I was same thing apply to them. Wash your hands and. I guess take a shower if you can. Where they gonna wash their hands at and take a shower? Where? Places like that over there. I don't know. Hands self up oh, down there. Self help. You know that? 
Yeah, I do, but, but what if not on a regular basis? Not on a regular basis. That's no, the but thing. I mean, but I mean, we just have to learn how to uh, compromise what we compromise. Got. Yeah, work yeah. Like for me, I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll just tell y'all, I ain't, I ain't trying to hear. But I'm just saying, yeah, right. I be personally, I don't like, that's like people, they pass out free food. I don't grab free food if I don't need it. Right. I ain't gonna grab it just because it's free. And if I ain't gonna eat it, I'm not gonna eat it. But I'm you wanna take work. this because it was like the coronavirus and it's really yeah. important. Oh, no, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not just doing it to help you, I'm doing this for me. Yeah. Because I do need something sometimes, I get careless, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And a lot of people be thinking, oh, you think you're better because I don't notice a lot of times people got their masks on. Yeah. That's the mask you got to put on. Right, right, right. Right, no, so 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 right. So again, I like you. Like I like what you said. It, uh, if you touch stuff, you can be able to get it. So exactly. that's, that's why what I, most of the disease passed from far as disease, not in terms of disease. Right. So that's why we passing along the sanitizer, hand sanitizer. You know, the book bags, the resources. Most of the people in these tents got a lot of that. But I, I don't like hand sanitizer. I like the hand wash. I, I, I just don't like hand sanitizer. So you think that if we if we got like donations, that would be the thing we should get is like um, hand wipes instead of sanitize, sanitize. No, they got that. They got. I mean, they got. They got these places around here. What do they need? But the, everybody's not gonna go to those places. You see I mean, what I'm but, saying? But, but, everybody not self sufficient like you. You see what okay, I'm saying? Okay, but the thing is, they come around and pass a lot of this stuff. All not right now. Nobody's doing that. Yeah, though. they ain't gonna do it all day, every day, okay. all through the day. But I'm saying, please take it. We talking about right out. now. We talking about right now doing the coronavirus. Out. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> and, right, so and the book bag. And you're going to do the um the census, right? And you're going to yeah. protect yourself with the, the coronavirus. Correct? Yeah, I'm not going to, but I'm not going to take no shot. Okay, that's fine. That's one thing I'm not going to do. And how and do you it, feel about the case managers, you know, want to help, but then they just get burned out? I'm saying to go out and help mentally insane people. Yeah. Because some people are not allowed to even drink coffee. Yeah. And the caffeine, you know, counterpart with their mind, brain reaction. It'll mess them up, you know. So, so to be able to help to them. deal with people like that, you got to really be professionally. I mean, you, you, you it's like, like police, right? Mm -hmm. They supposed to be trained before they even come out on these streets. Yeah. But when they get out, you see police sometimes they get so fed up they slap the hell out of something. Yeah. Okay, so just put yourself in the shoes and get around a bunch of people, but you've been trained to deal with these yeah. type of people. But you get tired of whatever yeah, yeah. around you. Right, but right. you know he he he, he don't. He really don't know. He really mentally insane. Right, right, well, he right, can't right. help himself. So but better you training. Tired of it. If, if better training. It's not so much a better training. It's so much. Once you get taught so <coughs> so much, so much of it is is really is on you. It's not better training. It's the person that, that's dealing with it. How much can he take? So if an organization come up to me and say, Erica, I want you to help the homeless people right now with this coronavirus outbreak. How can I help the homeless people right now? And I you know, know what war story. Doing, but at the same time, you're not going to be able to get to everybody. Also, you know about the coronavirus? You know about the coronavirus? No, you need to know about the coronavirus. The coronavirus um, is a global outbreak that has affected people in many countries, including the United States. Mm -hmm. So you need to protect and prepare and know the facts. Wash your hands, cover your mouth, stay home if sick. Um, also get a flu shot if necessary. Also do the census. If you're not counted for it, which is the next page, if you're not counted for it, they don't know about the resources for you, sweetheart, okay? Do your senses, make sure you are protected and know about uh, your resources, okay? You, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed you don't know about the, the coronavirus. Stay protected, okay, sweetie? I love you, I love you okay? <laughs> Protect yourself with the coronavirus, you know about it? Yes, I do. Okay, uh, make sure you wash your hands and do the senses too, okay? Oh, Have a good one. <laughs> Yeah. doing we're out here today and we're trying to inform the, the individuals that's out here about the coronavirus. Do you know anything about the coronavirus? Other than what I read in the paper, you know, different basic stuff, you know, like, you know, 
keep your distance from people, you yeah. know, keep your hands sanitized, you know, you can simple things. Cover your cough, of course, and I've been doing that my whole life. Wow, uh, well, you, well, you got that. You get a flu shot, you know, which I've already done. Woo, so you informed, huh? Uh, stay so, home if you're sick. Well, I'm, I'm at home, so if I get yeah. sick, I, I, I need to go elsewhere. Right, right. Period. Okay, yeah, okay. so if you don't have indoors to go, where are you going to go? Exactly, right. Yeah. So are you satisfied in these conditions like this right here? No, not at all, man. So if the mayor was looking at you right there, what would you say you just said about the I would homeless? say incident order in homelessness now. Make homelessness against the law in San Francisco. Make it against the law. It's mandatory for people to have housing. I like that. Especially those with an income, like myself. Yeah, but what should the city have, do? What should the city do as far as, like you said, they swept everybody off, they're about to sweep everybody the off? City, the city can pass like regulations, and I mean, like Willie Brown did, where make it like a mandatory for all new housing to, uh, uh, to, to house like uh, low income people, a percentage of them, like 15, 20% of the units, even in these multi-million dollar condominium. There's a small percentage of them that have to be set aside for regular low-income people like us. You know what I mean? And Willie Brown did that for us, but London Breeze. Willie so, Brown, he passed laws, you know, he, you know, he couldn't control the rent, but he could control like the buildings, the building codes and making it certain, certain rules mandatory right. for builders. So this gentleman ended the conversation by saying that the city shouldn't wait until a pandemic in order to address the problem of homelessness. So I found myself heading back to Los Angeles, California. Just to iterate, there's three different classes of homelessness. The upper class is the individual who's trying to make it back into the mainstream society. The lower class is the individual who doesn't care if they make it back into the mainstream society or not. And the middle class is the one who's just caught in between the middle. So let's continue. What's up with the, with the homeless and the uh, coronavirus out here on Skid Row? Well, you know, I kind of got sick um, two weeks ago, but I'm all right now. They said I didn't have no bacteria. But everybody out here going crazy, they starting to kidnap people, these people down here, because they, they, they major drug addicts. I'm not on crack no more. They over here talking about I'm in my tent smoking crystal, all this kind of stuff. Talking about they going to kidnap somebody's sons and stuff. These dope fiends and stuff. So, so is, that, is that concerning the, 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 corona the coronavirus? I'm talking about you got these people stuck, but you got the mobs are mobbing up, attacking people all over the streets coming from down here because these are some major dope fiends on the coronavirus. So, so what is the mayor? Has the mayor been down here? No, the mayor's not coming outside, but I was going to go to his office, though. And I what, used to work in City Hall. Yeah, I'm going to go to his office. I'm going to see the mayor. Hey, Pep, I love you. Hey, so uh, if you could talk to Mayor Eric Garcetti or if you could talk to television right now, what would you tell them to do about Skid Row, Los Angeles, downtown, and the coronavirus? I don't know what you need to do about these people, but I've never met people like this in my life. I ain't never met nobody like these people in my life. It's like a bunch of savages down here. And I've been in LA for 60 years. I ain't never met no people like this. Yeah. So has it changed since the coronavirus? Has that, has uh, people started acting different because of the virus? These, half of them know not to read. Oh. Half of them, they, they're not educated like that. So do they know about the corona? Have you talked to anybody that don't even know about the coronavirus? No, because I had to go to the clinic. I went to the clinic. Uh, Two weeks ago i was really sick and, and you don't have it no but does that does, does that does the people down here on skid row know about it yeah they know about it all right but it's the hookers you need to worry about because they the ones gonna spread it because if you interacting with these men down here on skid row you keep walking around with a bunch of germs you know you can't have sex with these men because you got hookers like her see you need to take a videotape of her like her she seemed like she's sober now, but she a hooker. So you got to worry about hookers and tricks. That's the one going to spread the coronavirus. So when it comes to the coronavirus, we should be concerned for the people who live out on the streets just as much as we are for the people who are shelter in place. And speaking with this next gentleman, he made it perfectly clear that even the people that come into the shelter to eat must have a face mask. We only can. Friday? All right. Uh, where, where are we at? Midnight Mission. All right, thank you. Hey, yo, what's up, man, with the coronavirus and Skid Row, man? Man, I think it's a, uh, a man-made disease, to be honest, because, man, there's people down here. I work in this community for the city of sanitation, and I don't know one person that got it. They say some people got it, but I ain't seen nobody with it. I, I don't know nobody physically that got it. I just hear hearsay, you know. 
Like Peter paid Paul. And so, so you think that that's God just looking out for his people because, you know, uh, the people down here have been neglected so long that, you know, I've been watching the news too and I haven't heard about too many people coming up with the virus down here on Skid Row either. So is that a, a, a protection from God or what do you think? Man, I think it's a whole order from God, man, to get everybody right, to, to make all believers in Christ, man, first of all, because I believe in him, he's the most high. Second of all, it's, it's time for a re, a, a re restart of this whole universe, not just the country, the city, just the universe, man. And I believe in Christ first. Oh, thank you. Okay, so what's going on out here today? Well, we're feeding the homeless in the Korean church. They're, these guys are so devoted. They come out every day. They're just amazing. So, so many people. We're just part of some other people, and we give like 50 lunches out, but these guys do hundreds. So you guys are not scared to come out here doing the coronavirus and all of that? We are scared, but we think a lot of people have pulled out, and these people are really hungry. And, and they just left down here. That's what they doc saying. Patrick, because I used to only give two days a week, and I've been teaching at school, but... You know, I, my wife said, you know, we were sick. Maybe we were sick before we might have had the virus. Let's go and help them. I'm kind of scared, but. So you know this is God's mission, what you're doing, right? Yeah, yeah. We kind of feel that way. I was kind of depressed with the Lord because I was so sick at the first of the year. I kind of think I had that virus. I but really now you know what? I really commend you because if you had that and then now you're, you're really giving back. So I can tell that you're a man of compassion. Yeah. These guys are the heroes here. They're here day in and day out. Yeah. Uh, see, this my daily struggle, struggle and my daily hustle. Be like the whole world hates you, nah, nobody knows you. See, this my daily struggle, struggle and my daily hustle. Be like the whole world hates you, nah, nobody knows you. See, this my daily struggle, struggle and my daily hustle. Be like the whole world hates you, nah, nobody knows you. See, this my daily struggle, struggle and my daily hustle. Be like the whole world hates you, nah, nobody knows you. See, this my daily struggle, struggle. And my daily hustle, you like the whole world hates you. It's got me asking what it's like and what it's love. See, honestly, they both alike. Ain't no different, cuz I never seen so many faces sleeping on the streets. See, when I looked them in their eyes, all I saw was me. I never thought the day I see them judge me by my cover. But if you open up this book, you might feel a struggle. Society don't know that happened all my daily hustles. How people look at you and stare, it seems nobody love you. Trapped in a homeless hustle, seems nobody. Nobody wanna touch you, so I'm gonna reach out, give back to you, and just try to hug you. Just whisper in your ears and let you know somebody loves you. See, one day you gon' make it out and talk about your struggle. This my daily hustle. See, this my daily struggle. Uh, see, this my daily struggle, struggle and my daily hustle. Be like the whole world hates you, nah, nobody knows you. See, this my daily struggle. struggle and my daily daily hustle be like the whole world hates you. Nah, nobody knows you. See, this my daily struggle.